if the paper in your garage is in bad condition, you might want to use this product. It could potentially save you $10,000 in your ADU. By the way, this is called Red Guard and it's only $159 at Home Depot. I'm at another open house and today I'm going to share a small ADU hack that you can use in your project if you're converting your garage into an ADU. And this one little step is probably going to cost you under $200, but it could potentially save you thousands of dollars. This one little step can only be used if you are converting your garage into an ADU or if you are adding square footage to your current garage. If you're doing new construction, everything is going to be new, so you don't really have to worry about this step. And the reason why I'm making this video is because this technique is so simple, so easy, and so cheap that if it helps one person out there building their ADU and I help them save $10,000, then you know I'm gonna feel happy about that. Now, what this has to do is with asphalt saturated paper, which is essentially a moisture barrier that's applied right before the stucco is installed. I'm gonna show you the garage for this property so you have a visual idea of exactly what I'm talking about. Before I take you to the garage, I just wanna let you guys know that I used this strategy on my personal ADU, and this has just been used on another property that I'm gonna show you, a live example. So this is a proven method, signed and approved by the city inspector, and we were able to pass the inspection and go to the next step without a problem. So. I'll explain just a little bit more about that topic after I show you the example of good paper. If you need somebody to help you draw the plans for your ADU, give Natalie a call. She can help you draw the plans, submit them to the city, and get them approved. You won't have to do anything. She will take care of the entire process. All you have to do is sit down, relax, and wait for the plans to be approved. The best way to get in contact with Natalie is by going over to the website, send her an email, and that's it. By doing that, you will be executing step one towards building your ADU. This is an example of a garage with perfect saturated paper. That means that the owner took care of the property and didn't expose the paper to the elements and it's been in good shape since the garage was built. Now, what happens is if it's exposed to the elements, the paper starts to deteriorate. I'm gonna show you exactly what that looks like. So this is paper in good condition, and as you can see, when it's exposed to the elements, it starts to break down like this. Take a look around this little opening section. So if you have this all over the place, which I have seen before, because sometimes there's a water leak on the top, the water starts to come down, and the paper is just in bad shape. So in order to follow the California building code, you need to have this as a uh, weatherproof barrier. And this is where my ongoing beef with contractors who are not 100% invested in your property uh, will come in and say, you know what, the paper is in bad shape, uh, we're, what we're gonna have to do if we wanna follow the California building code is basically reinstall the paper, install new paper, and then keep on moving with the project because this is not going to pass the inspection. And they're right. However, what I went through with my city inspector is just a little bit different. What happened was the city inspector came in, he looked at the paper, and he told me, this is in bad shape, what you can do is you can install red guard on top of the paper make sure you add a good coat of it and that's going to be a weatherproof barrier that one little tip saved me a lot of money because if, if i didn't know this and if i had just hired a contractor to do the work for me he would have told me you know what according to the california code this is in bad shape and we're going to have to take it all out and install it brand new there was one instance where there's a homeowner that called me that kind of went through the same thing and I kind of slept on it. I didn't tell him that he can do this. So I said, you know what? I don't want anybody else to go through the same problem. Might as well make a video and show people what to do in case they run into this problem. The other ADU that I'm gonna take you to after I'm showing you the video here is a project that was just signed off by the city inspector and they did exactly what I'm talking about right here. So we have him as an example 
and my personal project as an example. So if you guys run into this problem, this is something that you can do in order to save a lot of money because once you have this problem, the, your contractor tells you to bring down the stucco, you're looking at additional labor costs and you're looking at materials that need to be used. You're gonna have to take down all the stucco, hire a company to take away the trash, reapply the paper, reapply the stucco, and that's gonna cost you possibly $7,000 to $10,000. And all that can be uh, saved and avoid if you just do this one thing. Right over here behind the installation, we have Red Guard. This material that they use for the slab, they used it for the walls, so it could be another waterproof barrier, and they put it over here. So this is where you have your paper, and you have the Red Guard on top. That can save you thousands of dollars. Most likely, an ADU contractor, in order to maximize his profits, might say, we need to reinstall the paper, and in order to do that, we have to remove the stucco, and reapply it again and obviously that's going to be very expensive for the homeowner to do if you get that from your contractor just tell them hey man how about we install some red guard on the paper and we avoid that big ass bill and then the uh, contractor is going to say no that's not gonna fly and then you're gonna say well let's ask the inspector you ask the inspector and most likely he's going to approve it because he did it on this property and he did it on my property. So let me show you more examples of where they installed the Red Guard. I think they installed it all over the place, but let's see. So let's go look here, see what we have. Look at that, more Red Guard. And right over here, let's see, more Red Guard right over there. The paper was in good shape, but there were some sections that it needed to be applied. I'm gonna go to another wall. And let me show you right over here more uh, I don't know if you can see it yep more red guard and then right over here you have more red guard so now you know how to save money if the paper is not in good condition just use red guard and you will be okay Quick update, I did a little bit more research on that property that I just showed you with the red guard on the walls. And I spoke to the person that was doing the work. And as a matter of fact, the city inspector pushed them to install the red guard on the walls. It's something that the city inspector really wanted the homeowner to do, so they had to do it. And one quick tip for homeowners who are doing this by themselves, they don't have a general contractor taking care of the project for them. One of the things that I did for my project is right after the rough plumbing was completed, what I did is I started to install the red guard. I installed it on the bottom where the garage door used to be because I knew they were gonna frame that section. So I installed the red guard on the bottom and then they started to frame the ADU. And taking you back to that property when I spoke to the person doing the work, what happened was that the city inspector noticed that the red guard was not installed so he made them take the wood out install red guard and then put the wood back in so that was double the work for the framer and you know what sometimes framers just don't know to do this it, it sounds crazy but sometimes they just don't know on my uh, particular ADU I kind of knew I had to do that so I did it anyways and if I hadn't done that then I would have been in the same situation where taking off the wood red guard on the bottom and then putting the wood back in I've been looking through all these videos on YouTube and nobody's mentioning red guard no, nobody mentions what it does or, or how important it is or how it can basically stop your project until you install it and it's just so easy and affordable to do so Hopefully somebody looks at this video and I save them a week of work or you know a week doing their corrections. That's it for this video. Hopefully you guys learned something. Go to Home Depot, buy the Red Guard, apply it to the paper, save $10,000 by just spending maybe 200 bucks. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you guys on the next one.